This is a 2021 Math Kangaroo Levels 9-10 problem number 25. The smaller square in the picture has area 16 and the great triangle has area 1. What is the area of the larger square? A 17, B 18, C 19, D 20, or E 21. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So as you can see, I've marked up the image a little bit, so it's easier to see what it is I'm referring to. So from the problem, we know that we have the smaller square, so in this case that would be E, F, G, D, has area 16, so that means side length of 4. And we know that the gray triangle as area one. Well, how can we rewrite that last statement? We can write the area as being equal to base times height divided by two. So we can write AE times BH over two must be equal to one. And now let's take another look at our figure so we can rewrite that a little bit. Well, let's look at angle HAB, and let's say it has a measurement of x degrees. Then we know that ABH must have a measurement of 90 minus x, because we have this right triangle. Similarly, angle DAE would also have a measurement of 90 minus x, because along with H, A, B, it forms a 90 degree angle of a square, which makes angle A, D, E equal to X. Now we can see that we have triangle D, A, E must be similar to triangle a, B, H. And not only are they similar, we know that they actually must be congruent because we know that side length AD, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to side length AB since they're both side lengths of square A, B, C, D. And since we have two right triangles that all have the same angle measurements and the same hypotenuses, the two triangles must actually be congruent, not just similar. And since we know that D, E must be equal to AH must be equal to 4. We can see that the remaining side lengths, AE, must be equal to side length BH. Again, the two triangles are congruent, so all the corresponding sides and angles are equal. And this statement is really important because as we showed earlier, we can now rewrite this statement that the gray triangle has area 1. So let's say that AE has a side length of Y. Then we would have Y times Y over 2 is equal to 1. So Y squared is equal to 2. And Y is equal to square root of 2. And now if we take, I'm going to get rid of some of this so we can see a little bit clearer. Oops. we take a closer look here, we can see that if AE has a side length of square root of 2 and DE has a side length of 4, then in order to find AD, we can do 2, which is square root of 2 squared, plus 4 squared, which is 16, is equal to 18. Again, this is just using the Pythagorean theorem, so that makes AD have a side length of square root of 18. 
which means that the larger square A, B, C, D must have an area of 18, which is answer choice B. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I do realize that I haven't been super active for a long time. That was because I was busy with college and other things, but hopefully I'll be posting more. So please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or would like me to do any specific math kangaroo problem. Thank you all.